Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan and uh, we are today mostly discussing about the urological aspect of the general surgery and this lecture is a continuation of the other um, lectures which are regarding the urological surgery. So particularly today in this lecture we will be talking about the epididymal diseases, uh, particularly about the uh, cyst and obviously uh, the chronic and the acute inflammatory process as well. So uh, uh, today, the outline of the today's lecture is the discussion about the epidermal cysts, which are very much common and they can be unilateral, they can be bilateral, and they are um, a common finding in case of the uh, you know, middle-aged men, and sometimes they can be smaller in size, they can sometimes they can be larger in size, and, and uh, particularly if they're smaller in size, they can be left unattended, and if they're larger in size, excision uh, is the choice. So we will be discussing about the kind of the cyst, the kind of the fluid they contain, and the treatment uh, options and the modalities we have in case of the epididymal cyst. Uh, then uh, we'll be discussing about the spermatocele as well, which are also uh, very much common and they involve mostly uh, the epidermal head. Uh, we'll be talking about the composition of the spermatocele, the part of the epididymis which is mostly inculcated by the spermatocele, and we will also uh, be discussing about the treatment options uh, like the surgical and the conservative treatment options we have available in case of the spermatocele. Uh, the other thing, uh, the most important and the most common thing uh, in the urological surgery is epidermal orchitis. So we will be talking about the epidermal orchitis because it's a kind of the sudden uh, presentation would be like sudden development of the testicular or sacral swelling. So uh, you you have to differentiate the epidermal archaeitis from the inguinal hernia, the varicocele, the hydrocele, uh, the torsion of the testes, and what are the differentiating points uh, that, 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 that will help you making a definitive diagnosis we'll be discussing in today's uh, lecture. Plus, uh, if, if you particularly talk about the Architis, we'll be talking about the conservative treatment and the surgical option uh, like the epididymectomy and orchidectomy and particularly uh, when to put the patient on conservative treatment and when to put the patient on a surgical treatment we'll be discussing today. The other thing uh, which is, uh, you know, that's also very much important is a tuberculous epidermarchitis. We'll be talking about the um, uh, kind of the presentation for the tuberculous epidermarchitis, the kind of the fibrosis, and obviously there can be a primary tuberculous epidermarchitis, there can be secondary um, tuberculous um, epidermarchitis, and we have to put the patient on anti-tuberculous therapy, and in case of the prolonged uh, inflammation or the infection you have to and and if it's causing the uh, fibrosis extensive and there's a testicle infarction or atrophy then you have to put the patient on a surgical uh, treatment like the orchidectomy or epididymectomy so we will be discussing that as well in today's lecture and at the end we'll be talking about the orchitis which is uh, the isolated inflammation of the uh, testes. And we'll be talking about the causative organisms and like the viral mumps is the most common etiology, the ultimate consequences of the um, orchitis and the treatment options uh, we have available uh, for the orchitis. So this, this mostly the today's uh, lecture is regarding the epidermal diseases and those diseases which are involving the testicles uh, we'll be discussing today. So we have other uh, lectures as well on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there. You can have access to our uh, different uh, medical lectures. Uh, you can have access to a general surgery course as well. We have other topics um, available over there as well. So thank you for watching scardia.com for the detailed lecture. Keep watching scardia.com.